I'm going to briefly talk about uh, imaging planes on ankle MRI. So here we have an axial T2 fat suppressed image through the ankle. You can see the distal tibia and fibula and the lateral malleolus and the medial malleolus um, and the various tendons. This is anterior, this is posterior. And this uh, is a typical appearance for the axial images. But when I was looking at the other imaging planes, for instance the coronal plane, when I was scrolling through I noticed that I see this part of, this, of the joint, but not the whole joint at one time, and now I see this part of the joint, but not this part of the joint, and it suggested to me that maybe we're not in the right plane. So as you look at the cut lines, and I scroll through these coronal images, you notice that the cut line is a straight horizontal line that's parallel to the imaging table. Um, and that's not what you want to do with musculoskeletal imaging. That might be true of some other things, maybe abdominal imaging or brain, but in the musculoskeletal system, we have to orient our planes according to the axis of the joint. So in the ankle, what we use to determine that is basically the malleolar line. So you would want to make your coronal images in something like this plane, okay, instead of the plane that was actually done, which is like this because this line cuts through the ankle at an oblique angle and we don't want that. Okay, and then similarly, let me get rid of this one. Uh, on the sagittal planes, which don't look as bad or aren't as noticeably wrong, but a look at the cut line. Again, now it's totally perpendicular to the table position instead of being perpendicular to the ankle. So what we would want for sagittal images would be lines that are perpendicular to this line. So sagittal images of the ankle should be something like this orientation. Okay?